Good evening, everybody. We're back after a week or so of uh, not being able to stream. Uh, before we get started with three houses, we do gotta get some stream leaders going. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Okay, looks like this way is the fastest. Place your troops on the battlefield for a chance at a victory. We're going to be getting this battle started in 30 minutes. Alright. So. It has been a bit since I've played some three houses. Uh, I know last we left off, uh, Edelgard had been coronated, and that was the end of stream because I had gone way over where I had planned to. So here, all right, so we have two more free days. Uh, I do need to finish up the exploring. Because, um... Right, hold on. Uh... Yeah, because of this... Right, right, because, um, the cutscene was before I'd finished exploring. So... I probably want to explore here, finish exploring, do this instruct, do this battle, repair stuff, and do the mission. Right. Okay. Hmm. Edelgard still has, has stuff to say. Just in case I get roped into another cutscene, uh... I suppose I can always just quickly, uh, what might say? You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. You'd better not go easy on me. I need your training to be strict if I'm gonna get any better. Okay. Professor. Thank you for coming all the way to the Imperial Capital, Professor. Okay. No more cutscene. Good. <laughs> the announcement of my enthronement is imminent. Until then, can you please keep it to yourself? There are many preparations that must be made before the news spreads. I believe Hubert will be occupied and away from the monastery for much of this month. Hmm. Okay, so... I just ran directly into that table, okay. Uh, what do we got for... Uh, these six... need... Yeah, okay. Get those six for the, um, what you call it? Motivation. There we go. That's what that is. Oh, right, the greenhouse. Yeah, they forgot that. And it looks like a bit rate is stable. I think it's just, hmm. Uh, yes. Hopefully my internet's stable. <laughs> Hopefully. Verona. Hmm. We'll just see what that does. Got to plant. Uh, let's go. Cultivate. 
cultivate Caledonian. There we go. Or Caledonian. Uh, inventory. What is this? Resistance. All right, I think Flane has the highest resistance, but I'll give that to her. Don't think. Yeah, we we didn't have any quests this month, which was odd. Like, do I have anything to fish with? Yes. All right. Rhythm game time. So according to OBS and according to which my bitrate is stable, I think the playback on my end is just a bit choppy. Which is unfortunate. Guard, Hubert, Ferdinand, Lionheart, Caspar, and Bernadetta. Let's see, we can get Ferdinand and Lionheart there. Haku, welcome in. How have you been? Uh, we can get Edelgard and Bernadetta there. We have Hubert anywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't get Hubert's motivation up. Good to know. <laughs> or at least, not easily. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, we have stuff like this. This is my There we go. So menu again. Uh Edgard and Bernadetta. It's not available. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll just do Caspar and Petra then. Or... Oh, right, right, right. Hubert just... Yeah, Ilgard mentioned that Hubert's just not available this month. Right. I'm not sure if that's actually reflected with that, but whatever. Uh, I would be... How many activity points do I have left? Five. Ah, uh, what is the tournament? Magic, okay. Sounds fun! Let me show you. A little more. Seth do the sword thing. I don't think I saw Catherine. Hey. Uh. So 
So yeah, that is the only faculty training that I can do. And then... Hmm. Ah, I am sorry, but I... Right, tea party, because I haven't done that this month yet. And... then the tournament. And that's about it for the explore session. I can do some uh, battles. Actually, I should probably check their abilities. Uh, still in fine. 57, yeah. The Brave Lance, I'll probably have to repair at some point. Axes are doing fine. The bows are doing fine. And then, yeah, this is doing fine too. Okay. And I can repair things before the mission. I keep thinking that there's like a hallway there with an exit, and there is not. So sorry, even leaving it's got nothing to so uh... Okay, I, I expected that. Just based off the dialogue. Hey there. Okay. I can still do the tournament. Also, Haka, let me know if my bitrate is, or not necessarily bitrate, but if I'm just dropping frames in general. Uh, let's see. Um, let's, let's go with Dorothea. Something about this strikes me as a little bit unfair, you know? <laughs> she just. Winning's always she just nice. took that and didn't care. Huh. Okay, so well, I guess she actually took damage from that one. All roses have thorns. Oh, only three damage though. All right, well we've uh, we've upped the level a little bit. Oh, never mind. She one shot her. Again, level up. Alright. Okay, so bitrate should be fine then. I think it's just uh, the playback on my end. Is All iffy. Roses have thorns. I'm actually gonna heal because I think this is the last one. Oh! I won't go down so easily. That's, uh... <laughs> well, uh... Lysithia didn't last very long. We, t we don't even need the advanced seal, but the gold helps. Uh, we have two more activity points, but we don't have anything to use them on, so... Alright. We can actually instruct. Let's go. Uh, it'll guard. Two X, two authority, as usual. I still have much and it's A plus an X. My effort. I 
I still have. Alright, and then two lamps, two writing. Alright, we have Lineheart. Which, yeah, just dumping a bunch into oh. Faith. How I'm back. It is a Caspar, a bunch of the axe. Thanks. Thanks for your. Thanks for your. That went. Then Bernadetta, just stomp everything into writing. Another perfect. Yeah, we're getting fairly close to uh, S level weapon skills. I appreciate. It for that group tasks. Yeah, we still have Ferdinand and Bernadetta on stables. It's been the lecture. May I ask you something? When one professor lectures many students, some will inevitably have trouble keeping up, while others will get too far ahead in their studies. I wonder how this problem might be solved. I mean. Yeah, the best bet is <laughs> getting more professors. <laughs> like this kind, of, like lectures, kind of need to happen. And no. Is that so? I thank you. Oh yeah, you know, Ima <laughs> imagine having more than three professors at, you know, an actual academy. Though, of course, Haku, considering that they had more, but Yuritsa was evil, and one of them ran away. Five still isn't a great number. <laughs> battles in. Because, let's see, it looks like the mission is going to have a uh, suggested level of 21. We, we gotta have, like, some really good, uh, you know, it's gotta be really overleveled. I mean, Haku, technically, I suppose they only had four professors at max. Because the one that ran away was replaced by Violet. Alright, what we got? Looks like we got a bunch of gauntlet users. Cool. Uh. I think our lowest level is still Lionheart, yeah. Can we get him to attack people? <sighs> They're out of his range. Um... Oh. This is actually... 
plan for us for movement. Okay. Yeah, I got a plan. Let's get this battle started. And yeah, Hubert isn't available for this one, right? So it looks like Hanuman's fill again. <laughs> oh, alrighty. So let's start on this side. So, okay, so if we have her to try to take this guy out. Yeah, okay. Steel bow doesn't quite one shot him, but the brave bow does. I love the brave weapons, they are way too good. <laughs> Ferdinand von Eyre. Uh, let's see. Steel Lance. So this thing... I haven't actually used it yet. Oh, wait. Like... It seems very good. But, but we're, we're gonna use a Brave Lance. <laughs> shot these guys. No. <laughs> I will prevail. All right. Uh... Oh, this guy just doesn't fight back. All right. So we'll move Edelgard here. Have her take out this guy. I mean, to be fair, he didn't really get a chance to fight back because, you know, he's fighting Edelgard. That's my cue. Uh, Thoron one shots this guy. You were wide open. We should probably start moving Petra. Probably have her go in here. Let us away. Move lane here. Oh right. Hmm. Put me in there. Right, we'll want to move Caspar here <laughs> and Lionheart here. Would Flane actually one-shot these guys <laughs> out of curiosity? No. Oh, I didn't notice that this guy's gonna be targeting. Actually, Stay hold on. Focused. We can fix that. <laughs> I'll switch to the Wardow. There we go. Wait. And then Hanuman here. There we go. Yeah, we're, uh... Yeah, it worked. Definitely gonna be healing Caspar here. Because <laughs> these guys are dealing a lot of damage. You see that? But... I mean, level 26 Caspar. <laughs> I'm just getting... 
Now you know your limits. At level 29 Edelgard. We're we're getting close to the level 30s. This battle, th this guy, this guy hit four times, and none of them actually did any damage. Not so fast. That was nothing. People like me. Okay. Attack this guy and then use Cantor. Alright. Alright. Plans coming together. Uh, just use a regular Steel Lance for this. this oh, Aegis? Hold on, I should probably like. Look at that. Oh, you could just straight up move him here. Alright. Maybe we'll move him over this way. Uh, is there a way to check? Like, hmm. Like, there's a lot of abilities here. Er, not abilities, it's skill. That's what you said. Hmm. I'm still learning the UI with this. Actually... Why don't we... Move Petra down to here. Yeah. Move Bernadetta. Hmm. Alright, so first step is if we can... Alright, we're gonna be taking this guy out, that's no problem. So if we can have... Oh, we could just Thor on him. Oh, you can only check acquired abilities after battle. Okay, good to know. I want to be. Uh, what is proc again, Haku? So Flame can get some XP. Steel axe. Right makes my Oh, activation chance. Okay. It's equal to the user's dexterity chat. But it triggers any incoming ranged attacks are halved. Oh. So Ferdinand is just becoming a tank on a horse. <laughs> uh, just steel build this guy. Oh! You know, Bernadetta, I don't think you had to crit the guy, but... Sure.
You know, if they want to throw their lives away against the Edelgard, they can. Can we get them to attack? Yeah, okay. <laughs> just, just get by with some actual XP. But, before we do more here, we've got a Stream Raiders battle to do. So, let's plop a haste here and get this battle started. We got seven allies in the battlefield against 22 enemies. Let's see how this goes. And it looks like we've already more than even the odds. And just gotta wait for this group to get over here, or not even. Looks like the bats are down. Cool. We got five gold going to every group participated in that battle. Looking for the awards. We got. Uh, Angel Konoko in first with 18 kills, 7 assists, and myself taking second with 4 kills. Let's go into Haku and Angel Konoko. Let's continue onward and get this next battle started. So, place your troops on the battlefield. We're going to be getting this battle started in half an hour. And in the meantime... Uh, we have some more Fire Emblem to do. Wait. Oh! Okay, Haku. So... Yeah, that makes sense. It seems like Paladin has been very good so far. My heart is full of victory! <laughs> they can't hit him. They keep trying, but they just can't hit him. Always getting You fought well. Well, given how defensive the Paladin seems, like, it makes sense that they would be the Guardian character for the main lord. <laughs> oh no. Goodbye, Mr. Gauntlet Man. Um, let's give this kill to Bernadetta since she's a slightly lower level. Uh, first, though, <laughs> let's heal Edelgard for no reason other than giving Reiner a little bit more help. XP. Okay, Steel Bow should finish him off. three turns and that battle is down. And we got more than enough to go right back. It's like do they do they walk back to the monastery and then they're like, hey there's a there's more bandits here. <laughs> Looks like now we got mostly axe guys. Hmm. Also, I'd like to point out this all happens on the same day. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, Hubert's just unavailable. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Hubert's gonna be a bit underleveled <laughs> compared to the rest of us. Also, this is a threat. Never mind. Uh, Dorothea can smite it.
Oh no. Alright, so same strategy to start. Uh, steel ball? Oh, steel ball just takes him out. Cool, the steel ball one. Also takes him out. Cool, we don't even have to waste our ability on our brave weapons. Oh no, he actually took damage. The mark of nobility. I will get the victory. Here. Oh no. Okay, well, we can't be having that. Thorin doesn't quite take him out. Uh, I, I guess we'll use. No hesitation. You don't? Alright. Alright, Byleth. Show me more. That's my cue. All right, cool. You can you, you can do that. Uh, hmm. Hmm. So what does rest? What does rescue actually do? So like, looking at moves an ally to a space near the user. So can you like? use it and just teleport him next to you is the idea because in that case why don't we do this meteor just take out the flyer all roses have thorns the reverse of warp Okay, so if we do this, rescue. Oh! <laughs> cool! <laughs> we should just grab him out of danger. Put me in there! Uh, oh, they reprioritized Caspar anyway. I probably should check that before using it, but whatever. Okay, are there any spells that uh, do work on the caster? Where uh, where they where they teleport yourself, or just no? Failure is not an option. Okay. <laughs> Edelgard just looked at the sword and said no. Alright. It's like... Ah, oh, we got a tricky one here. Can we whittle away at this guy's health? Actually, Bernadette can one-shot him. Okay. Uh, 
some money. So, let's have... Yeah, just steal ants. Get finish this guy off. Yeah, I've not been using warp. I probably should. This gets everybody on further end. Let me move him here, so it's these two. Do I? Yeah. Who's an ally to a targeted space? Okay. So anyway, apparently Bernadette, I can now one-shot armor units. Oh. Anywhere I can hide. The crit is nice. Admiration. Cause yeah, we are starting to chew through durability on that. Uh we can redirect that guy to Edelgard. Actually... Okay. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do... Is... Uh, wind. Let Lionheart take this guy out. I'd rather be napping. <laughs> yeah, actually... We probably should do that as a starting strategy. Just, <laughs> just plop Petra in the middle of the action. <laughs> we should probably, yeah, have Violet do this one. Edelgard here. Oh. Uh, let's see. Resistance 11. That's uh, probably better for Ferdinand to take that. Level, level 27. Uh, levels Pilot? 27 as well. Okay. We'll leave it like this. Has to be adjacent to them to work, but yeah, that's... Okay. Let the lesson begin. That's... Should I have held back? That was quite a lot of damage there, Violith. <laughs> uh, let's send the advanced seal there, because we don't have any use for it. I left my Petra just styles on them. That was nothing. Okay. So I'm curious now. We do this assist warp. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. I am going to be using this often from now on. <laughs> well, actually, we only have two uses of it, but still. But that's that's literally a teleports behind you move. Like. <laughs> See how that would be very broken. Ah, looks like this is a mountain battle. Unfortunate.
I, I don't care much for this map, but hey, I can tolerate it. One turn wins with warp. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, looks like... Oh! It's this group together. Okay. This is a new one. Alright, alright, alright. Let's take care of this side first. We'll probably set up as we usually do. Uh, have Violet go here, attack this guy. Oh, I forgot I had the gold hell equipped. You fought well. We must all. I will get the victory. Uh, Petra here. Take out this guy. And also, not take any damage. I will not be stopping. I am Ferdinand von Eich. Ferdinand doesn't quite take this guy out, but that's all right. We have to to finish that guy off. I will not hold back. Oh, never mind. Ferdinand takes him out. You should be honored. I'm impressed. Oh no. That's my cue. Okay. So not now here. Away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Flame! Not sure you needed to crit the guy. But alright. And also. Okay, yeah, plans are coming together. So we can move Hanuman here, Thor on this guy. Then <laughs> just teleport Edelgard in. <laughs> sure, all right. <laughs> so, like, what is what is their reaction when I will prevail? <laughs> Edelgard just teleports directly in front of them. Well, how was that? Now you know you're They're all throwing their this way. Also level 30 Edelgard, that's slightly terrifying. I must get You know, I probably should have teleported Caspar in, but whatever. <laughs> He's running away. Oh, there's a flying unit. Hmm. Use steel sword here. Uh, I don't actually be attacked from here. Yeah, that's fine. Steel sword, take this guy out. Should I have held back? Okay, Haku. So like, Edelgard teleporting in, except it's the uh, Thor scene from Infinity War where he teleports into Wakanda and just throws Stormbreaker.
Um, so, why don't we have it? Yeah, okay. Actually, we go here. Items, Spear of Assault. Let's equip that. Oh, dang it. There we go. Wait. Petra here. We can move the others up as well. Probably want to teleport Caspar in next. So we can, you know, continue with Edelgard giving chase to these guys. You know, let them throw their lives away against her. <sighs> they continue to run away. Me. That guy stabs Ferdinand, no damage. Ferdinand stabs him, death. Not so fast. <laughs> the flying unit is running away from Dorothy. <laughs> Only Lionheart could teleport himself so that he could then teleport Dorothea. <laughs> but whatever. Can I go now? Also level twenty-eight Bernadetta. Let's go. Defense of 12. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can't quite teleport him up to there. We can move him to the other side. Both of them. Actually, I probably want to probably want to move Edelgard out of range of the flying unit simply because of the flying unit. Those things are scary. Uh, I'm actually going to warp Flame to the other side because the other side is lacking a healer, despite the fact that you know. Lionheart can he Lionheart can hit the whole board, but <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh wait, the flying unit is out of range. They're not range. It's out of Dorothea's range, right? Ferdinand here. Plane here. Petra here. Violet here. And Dorothea here. Okay. Yeah, not quite close enough to shoot the Pegasus. That was me. Why? 
Why did it move like that? What? What was its goal? Like... Come on. Really? <laughs> Why? It, it decided to go directly into the line of fire. Alright, well, plan B time then. That just wasted a bunch of durability. So plan B is just smack it. Uh, actually, plan B, for step one, is smack it with a rock. You were wide open. Well, that worked. Uh, let's actually have Caspar take this guy out. Here we go. Oh. What a jump. Okay, yeah, I can see why Deadeye Pretty good, isn't huh? super useful if it misses so much. Petra to here, so Flane has a shot on this guy. Just to get some XP. <sighs> Do any of these characters need to be healed? No. But it's free XP. One more battle to grind. Ooh, this is a monster's battle. What do we got for durabilities? Um, looks like we're doing alright. Yeah, we're doing fine. This is monster grinding. Yeah, I've not really been using combat arts all that much, Haku. I should probably change that. Alright. Alright, this is a monster's battle, so all of us are here. That's a lot of birds. Like, we, we got some burbs here. these things can move. Okay. Our aim should probably be to take this one out immediately. Put me in there. The Brave Axe kills this through the shield. That's very good. Oh no. So does the Brave Bow. And Bernadette doesn't get hit back. And we can prevent this one from getting to an area that can attack her. Cool.
Ah, I should have checked what's its skill. Darting Blow. If unit initiates combat, grants attack speed plus six. Okay. the extra bullion to the convoy. <laughs> yeah, the birds seem to die very quickly. Uh, before we continue with this, though, we got some stream raiders to do. Uh, think best move is probably... Mm, I want to say haste. Haste is just very useful. We got 12 allies on the battlefield against 64 enemies. Let's see how this goes. Um. Hmm. We are chewing through them, but they're starting to get to us, so we'll see. There are still 24 enemies left, and a lot of them are flying, so we don't have anything that can hit up then. I think we'll lose. Hmm. So yeah, these guys just kind of sit here and take it. The vampire does heal itself though, so we'll see. It's all up to this one lone vampire. Let's see how this goes. All the bats are just converging on this one rogue. Because the vampire heals itself as it hits. This is a battle of endurance. I think? I think the vampire has got this. <laughs> it's even it has a net positive health at this point. <laughs> Let's go. That was a clutch vampire there. We got five gold coins every year that participated in that battle. Looking over the leaderboard, we got Angel Conico in first with 49 kills, 14 assists. Knight Lee VG taking second with 8 kills, 4 assists, and Haku taking third with 7 kills, 2 assists. Loot's going to Haku. Alright, this next one is probably going to be the last battle of the night. Um, actually, it depends on how long the mission takes. But place your troops on the battlefield for a chance at victory. We're going to be getting this battle started in half an hour. Uh, part one. Hold on. There we go. Okay. This guy's focused on Caspar, that should be fine. That's my cue. We could meteor it. Just deal some damage right off the bat. Where can this guy hit? Over there. We can have... we'll probably want this guy to focus on Ferdinand. Uh, let's actually get started on this one. Breaks the shield too, nice. Lineheart. Okay. Okay. Actually, since we're gonna have to double back and go this way, let's actually move Lineheart here. Okay, here would probably be best. There we go. I will prevail. Stay focused. Okay, cool. If we move 
Byleth out of its range focuses on Ferdinand. Cool. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I don't know why it focuses on I will get the Ferdinand, victory. but sure. Let us okay, away. let's have this group here to deal with this one. And then we'll have this group here deal with this one. My turn. Oh, they dropped Mithril. <laughs> All that for no damage. <laughs> All right, let's get to work on these shields then. Let's really finish this one off first. Bring in Damn the it, take out this health bar. And I think doing that Let's get that shield. Hopefully. Yes, okay. Then we have Bernadetta. Bray of bow through the shield. Am I done yet? And we get Mithril Ore. And the camera really went whack there. <laughs> so now here, we can gambit, we get those. Oh, this will all can repair sacred weapons. Well, that's good. Mithril, nice. Move Ferdinand up even further, okay. Uh, let's actually... Oh, uh, let's have Dorothea finish off this health bar. Then we can have Edelgard one-shot it. Guard just walks up to the massive bird and kills it. <laughs> Actually, warp Bernadetta over to here. Get her closer to the action. And ah, can't quite warp Caspar over. We're gonna be taking this down this turn, so. How much damage does one of Edelgard's gambits do against this? <clears throat> That's a lot of damage. Yeah. I'll show you a plan. Okay, 
Well, I mean, Haku, they do seem like very good weapons, so it makes sense that they would be rare drops. So the bird may now be fast. But is it faster than Petra? The answer is no. <laughs> Petra doesn't even need the lowdown to get a bunch of crits, she just gets them. I am greater now. Also, level 30 Petra. You're in good form. go towards the mission now. Let's see how this goes. Grateful. Okay, first, uh, actually first sell, uh, we want to get rid of this bullion. And then this bullion. This bullion. And this bullion. And we have no need for the advancing. Okay. So what can we now buy? Alright, this is the armory. Item kind of shop. There we go. Advanced seal is still the highest seal we can buy. Uh, we want to battalions replenish real quick. <sighs> so yeah, master classes just aren't unlocked yet, I guess. So repair. Wait. Why? Why can't you just straight up repair that? Like, okay. Uh, that doesn't need anything repaired. This doesn't need anything repaired. Um, this is up to the wood steel, but yeah, let's repair this gray plants. Um, we're good there. Uh, I think we're good on the brave bell for the time being. Good here too. Okay. Yeah, being able to repair the sword directly is a very good feature. So yeah, if you look, I guess it's certifications. Yeah. I can see what you mean with master classes being mostly mounted. Nothing really that Petra or Edelgard would benefit from with master classes, it looks like. Alright, let's get this story chapter going. Your house ventures into the holy tomb to receive a revelation from the goddess. In that hidden place, deep beneath Garrick Mach, a shocking truth is revealed. Oh, you need to wait until I get the free Master Seal? Ah, I see. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. 
It's very green. Much greener than I would have expected. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sophus, sat upon this very throne. Yeah, true, Haku. There's, there's a lot of green in this game. Also, yeah, that's, that's just the exact throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? I didn't get an answer, honestly. So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Alright, well that sounds slightly ominous. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. He looks distinctly uncomfortable. <laughs> it was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Stop right there! Oh? <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Oh? Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> oh! This is an interesting development. What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. I had my suspicions, but... Huh. That's... An interesting twist. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play at school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. Excellence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Oh no, Haku. <gasps> What's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends... I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. Hmm. So I suppose this was the, uh, hmm, I suppose this was the major effect it had on the story. Huh. What? E excuse me? Game. The game just downgraded Edelgard. <laughs> like, I kind of wish the game had gone, gone in and it was like, the work that you put into the units was what you fight, but okay. That's unfortunate. Edelgard's a very, 
very nice character to have, but eh. I guess if the story calls for it, and the story will not progress unless she is dead, I guess she must die. I guess we should have been putting more work into Hanuman. <laughs> or we should recruit another character. Hmm. Okay. Got a couple demonic beasts as well. Oh, let's get the fight started, I guess. Oh yeah, we don't have Hubert with us either. Because yeah, Hubert was also was with Edelgard. That's unfortunate as well. Allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the holy tomb. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The holy tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. Oh. Well, rip. <laughs> Protect the crest stones. If they're stolen, you can get them back by defeating the foes that have them. You can earn rewards based on the number of crest stones you protected. Okay. So it's not quite a time limit. Okay. Wait, I'm... I'm curious. <laughs> How far down do we have to get Dorothea before she can hit Edelgard with Meteor? <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> uh, like, Meteor is legitimately kind of broken. <laughs> How do we want to plan this out? We are very much a numbers disadvantage. Wait. <laughs> You're right, Taku. You're absolutely right. Hold on. What is... What is Dorothea's range on Meteor giving? That's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> I probably wouldn't risk it, but like, <laughs> that's actually hilarious. <laughs> the range on warp is magic over 4, which is 8. If we put Lineheart here, we can warp Dorothea 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tiles. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 to Edelgar. <laughs> it is possible to one turn this. I'm not going to, but it's possible. <laughs> Also, I'd like to mention, where did Hubert get off to? Uh, because we have Edelgard here, and Medity. But, uh, Hubert, Hubert kind of just left. And that, that's not a good thing. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately, we kind of have to split up, which isn't great, but we have Lionheart here as healer, so that's fine. Put okay. me in there. Hmm. 
We need Casper here, Mace. We one-shot this guy. What a jump! Actually, I'm gonna think of it as well. Uh did we have any extra items that Aelgard had? I forget. That we, that we now lost. Uh, that's unfortunate. If so. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Yeah, we can steal Lance this guy. Victory is assured. Oh. <laughs> you should be honored. Yeah, I, I wasn't amazed. It was a hammer, which is unfortunate because that was really nice to have. My turn. <laughs> Hanuman can't one-shot these guys. Dang it! And these guys aren't in range. Uh, we can deal a lot of damage to them, though, so we probably should. Yeah, I think it was Hammer, Steel Axe Plus. Uh, she had a Brave Axe, too, which is... That was a waste of steel, I guess. Stay focused. I will get the victory. Yeah, I've got Rebel there. Probably send... Yeah, Petra down this way. Yeah, I wasn't planning on using Hanuman that much, so... Huh. Oh no. Let us away. I can just back flame out there. Burn it out of here. That's my cue. And line hard here. I mean, no one I suppose they could have been in dead eye range. Take away every last one of those crest stones. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? Okay, so if they make it to there, they retreat with the press stones. They'll go. They'll go for multiple. It's a possibility, but do we want to do we want to bank on that? Is the thing. Okay, so we can. Okay, hold on. We can go here. Use Ferdinand to take this guy out. We did block the other one from going for press stones, which was good. You are not. Uh, actually, wait, wait, wait. yeah. If we go here, the monsters are an issue too. But they're an issue we can ignore for the time being, because we have more pressing matters. Let the lesson begin! 
Each battle a chance to grow. Hmm. True as well, Haku. True as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so if we have Petra take out this guy. I will not be stopping. Caspar can preemptively take out this guy. Oh, I shouldn't have used the mace, but whatever. Right makes money, right? Uh, we can. Yeah, Lionheart can take out this guy. Victory. Yeah, ignore the beast, just take out the thieves. Just like the start. What is the range on this beast? Oh. It's alright, this guy's still in meteor range. <laughs> Instead of Thoron, let's fire, take him out. I read you like a book. I'm only getting better with age. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you're right there, Haku. The, the thieves did kind of want a rock, so we gave him a rock. Just, just a really big rock. Let's brave though. Take this guy out. Can I go now? And then keep playing where she is. Take this guy out. My brother will be pleased. Alright, what's their next move? Ah, they go for the pretty rock. <laughs> they, they really went for it, huh? They... You, really? Really? Yeah, that's your move? Alright, well, <laughs> before we continue with this... Uh, let's get the stream readers battle going. Uh, there we go. I think this is gonna be the last stream readers battle of the night, since I'm gonna finish up this mission and then be done for the night. So we got 18 allies in the battlefield against 15 enemies. Let's see how this goes. The rogues are moving with the haste, and. The haste is worn off, but in they go. It looks like we are shredding through these guys. Oh, let's go. We got five gold going to every unit place troop on that battlefield. Looking at the leaderboard, we got Angel Konico in first with 12 kills, one assist. Haku taking second with three kills, one assist. And Knightly VG taking third, two assists. Boots going to Haku and Knightly VG. All right, all right. So that was it for Stream Raiders tonight, but don't go just yet, because we gotta finish this up in Fire Emblem. All right, Burnham can take this guy out. And now we can actually start doing things to the demons. You should be honored.
Okay. Problem is, our troops are kind of scattered, which isn't great for us. Uh, fire. Thoron actually takes that guy out. Wind doesn't. Sagate does. Let's go with this one. An unfair match. Yeah, like, you, can, you can just put the crest stones and convoy. It's like. That, that really doesn't feel quite right, you know? White brave bow right through the shield. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you should hit it four times though. <sighs> no crit. That's unfortunate. How far can this move? It can only move four, I think. So yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, four. So the furthest it can move is up to here. So that's another few out in all directions. But here is still safe. And so we can just grab Bernadetta. <laughs> and it's focused on Ferdinand. Good. Just like we planned. Okay. So we have Caspar here. Let's actually finish off this guy. Yeah, we're actually making use of things like rescue and warp yeah, now. We only got one meteor left. I forgot what this was. The most powerful form of black magic. Oh, right. What? Oh my god! Oh! Just okay. <laughs> I did not expect it to do that much damage. Jeez. Wait a second. Wait a second. We can teleport Petra in. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's simple. Okay. So, first, let's use this one. Oh goodness. And it missed. Yeah, that is, that is unfortunate how I that Patrick can walk two more steps, but eh. Wait, what is, what is that? Oh, just strength plus two. Okay. So steel sword plus... The blow down. Let's bank on the crit. <laughs> we got the crit. Oh. 
Oh wait, she outspeeds. <laughs> GG, Mr. Monster. That was nothing. These things have terrible aim. Yeah, yeah, you're right there, Haku. They, they can't aim. <laughs> I, oh, sorry, not they can't aim. Petra, Petra always outspeeds. through that health bar. I, will not hold back. I probably should have done it on the one that was weak already. Whatever. Here, Brave Bow. Doesn't quite finish it off. Once again, just shooting it four times. But we can have Flame uh, actually finish it off. four times in a row. That would have been very nice. We should probably start actually training Kamina. Since we gotta replace two of our units now. Start recruiting at some point. Like, actually, we probably should have started recruiting a while ago. Well, yeah, Haku, I would assume replace, considering that it seems like they kind of just betrayed us. I would assume the game makes us replace them. This is where having Aegis would have helped, I guess. But whatever. Ferdinand can take the hits. the hits, but I'm pretty sure she can dodge them. Like, I'm fairly certain she can dodge the hits from these guys. But to be safe, we'll send her here. Okay, I cast her... Yeah, attracts the attention of these guys when we cast bar here. And then there. Okay. 
unpredictable. It, it seems our characters tend to dodge these a lot. Like that's it's not that's not how horses move. That was nothing. <laughs> and at the times they do hit, they just don't do any damage. Oh wow. Three damage. Actually, I'm curious. <laughs> I just If we put Lionheart in the center of the room, I'm pretty sure Physic would fill the entire board. Also... Oh! Edelgard hits back! Also, burnt the hey, Dorothea doesn't one shot. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there there are new abilities, right? Counterattack, regardless of distance. Oh. Zaya, welcome in. How have you been? Okay, so we can only really hit her once with each unit. Alright, well, guess, guess we'll just take away all of her potential, uh, help. Witness Bridget Pride! I don't think you needed to crit right the guy, Caspar, right. but let's go. As long as it makes me stronger. Oh. Admiration. So you can't you can't quite just one-shot every boss in the game. Got it, Haku. Should I have held back? <laughs> we just line up to go up the stairs. If we can't Meteor Edelgard, we might as well Meteor a different one. Like this guy. <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? <laughs> He's so confident. Wait, wait. No. I was just following orders. I just... He was so confident, and then just a rock fell on top of him. Also, the just following orders line, like, yeah, that's uh, that's that's not a uh, that's not a defense nowadays. I want to be. Uh, yeah, she just straight up drops a rock on him. Like, yeah. You are no. Well, I mean, also like officially, Haku. Not just those being the words of coward, but uh, those are no longer a defense under the Geneva Convention. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Hanuman can't really take any hits at this point. <laughs> Start moving the others down, though. Yes, I, I get Haku that Ferdinand would have taken less damage than Aegis. But uh, I I'm not used to equipping different things. Oh wow, all, all 11 damage, huh? Now we can move Flame here to heal him as well, which is good. So if we have Hanuman, Thoron, this guy. Oh, never mind. He one shots him. I read you like a book. Dorothea move this way. Victory is assured. Oh, that's a crit. Yeah! Let's go. Only a fool challenges me. Oh, we can. Hmm. That redirects him to Bernadetta. You can have him attack Ferdinand still. Okay. Two with one. Two twenty. Let's actually have Byleth take this guy out. That is that. We can move Petra in this way. Yeah, they're coming in from both sides, Edelgard. This is not looking good for you. Yeah. Physic doesn't quite reach all the way yet. can't quite get up to attacking her yet, but it's close. Bernadetta can actually take out this guy. I thought I was dead. Start moving the others up. Ferdinand can take out this guy here. The mark of nobility. Can move him very close to Edelgard, but not quite in her range. Same with Petra. really need to heal, Thank but you. might as well. Well, Edgard, we have completely dismantled your defenses. Let's see. Do we go for the poetic? Like, because this is, hmm, like it's actually kind of poetic if Ferdinand is the one to take Edelgard out. Actually, does Rapier do bonus damage here? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> actually, see this one. Have no intention of killing me. 
So why not stand down and get out of my way? Oh, well, she missed. And Petra crit. So, the end has come. All right. Well, yeah, all that for a boat. <laughs> Knowledge gem. Sports skill acquisition. Hmm. An advanced seal that we can't use. I guess I'll do. Alright, so I guess this is a cutscene coming up. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresvelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. Okay, well that's... She is a danger to all of Fodlan. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. <sighs> Game. Game. Okay, I saved right before this. Oh, and, the, and there's the heartbeat, like... Hmm. Like, the game had me saved directly before this. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, neither of these are great answers. Ideally, you'd want to arrested and tried, but medieval Europe. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Why? Why do we keep making these important story decisions at like eleven thirty at night? Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Since, since both of these are like equally not great answers, I'm going to close my eyes, do this, and then just press A randomly. <sighs> that's what the coin flip, that's what the coin flip went with. Are you certain that... No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Words cannot properly express... Oh, wait. <laughs> Hubert just... <laughs> so, this is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Your presence soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemy strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. I have passed judgment. Oh. And now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself. <laughs> 
That must be the Immaculate One. Okay, Hubert, th this happens and your and your response is, heh. Yes. The monsters that have controlled Bodlin in secret for far too long. Ray is their leader. Oh, okay, so their their whole thing is that there's a conspiracy. There's no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor, we must escape while we can. You know, because that was such a major decision. Part one, white clouds, lone moon, outset of a power struggle. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike. But each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. We somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. I'm surprised some of the others didn't run off. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. Haku. The story's intensity just keeps climbing. Like, I, I don't think we're gonna reach the climax of the story at this point. It just keeps going. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. Yeah, rip, rip flame, but I figured if it ever came to the whole thing breaking apart, flame would be one to leave. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget, and I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. Was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. Yeah, like I get you, you'd lose quite a few, like with other choices. You are the emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. Also, yeah, <laughs> Ferdinand, as competitive as he is, is not one to just take, like, go for revenge. Like, his father has been fired. So he knows that his best shot for a position of power is to not follow in his father's footsteps. <laughs> I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, Aidy. I'm here to follow our dear professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. <laughs> the greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's a very much a change of heart from Hubert in some in some aspects, but in others, a coolly logical approach. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. 
those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the goddess. <laughs> okay, so we have hit the, uh, the religious, like, schism part of the game. <laughs> like, okay. Like, this is... This is giving off some Protestant Reformation vibes, and I am here for it. <laughs> like, this is the history part of this? Mm. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Saros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity, for all of Bodlin. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph! That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? <laughs> you don't get any other options. <laughs> I appreciate it. I... I'm just... anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. Ah yes, the chains of the commanding, as they say. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long-devised strategies are unfolding across Fodlin. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, A, you're right there, Haku. Fire Emblem games tend to have a lot of war. And B, Medieval Europe had a lot of war. And I am the one who is giving the order. Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlin. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago, yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? <laughs> the decision has already been made. There's no backing out now. Also because the story would end if you backed out, so... I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty, 
The latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto are almost complete. Oh, there's a manifesto as well. <laughs> this is really, really much like the Protestant Reformation. Like... <laughs> we will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Saros and the foul practices of the nobles from the kingdom and the alliance. So, uh, how many doors is this going to be nailed to? We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. My father among them. <laughs> How unfortunate. Wow, he really did not care about his father. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrick Mok. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. Nate, welcome in. You're, uh... You're here for the end of stream. There, we will join forces with them. How have you been? As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Oh. Offense or defense. We... Let's be real. <laughs> All of our units are, uh, very much offensive units. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. <laughs> Yeah, because Aelogard officially is Commander-in-Chief. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? <laughs> you just go love it. I mean, this is the Black Eagles route. I'm so happy you feel that way. I must confess that I spent all night thinking about it. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure. Yes, the, uh, BESF. <laughs> this month you will operate from a temporary encampment so of the available facilities are limited. To head out of the battlefield by approaching the temporary encampment's exit and selecting to battle. Okay, well, first things first. Let's save. I, I I have the backup save up there for likely after I finish this playthrough and want to see where the others would take me. But in the meantime, I'm going to search for a raid target and uh, we'll be getting a raid going. Thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, been having a lot of fun with this, and I'm glad to be back after last week's large number of thunderstorms. <laughs> uh, this week, I plan to stream tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, and for now, uh, yeah, okay. I think I know who we're going to be raiding. Let me get this going. 
Because uh, I think, yeah, I think Pad is wrapping up, so we'll be raiding 8th. So now Pat usually wraps up around this time. So, exclamation point raid to uh, copy and paste that raid message, uh, spam it in 8th chat once you guys get over there. And have a great rest of your day, everyone. See you all next time I stream.